Hey guys, and welcome to the Beyond the Baltic Sea. DLC. Perfect, nailed it. So, if you haven't seen the Baltic DLC already, um, which I'm sure you have if you're watching this video. Oh my god, I just realised how um, bland Scotland is without the Pro Mods installed. Oh my god, yes, Pro Mods... 2.33 will not work with this. It will only work with 133. If you download Pro Mods 2.33, you can load the game in 133, but you won't get the DLC um, with it. It will take it out automatically. So these are all the cities here. I'm not going to go from through them all. Um, just a quick tip as well. Um, in the new update for 133, if you want to go to gameplay and you want to have your own country's um, city names um, and like saying it in Russian or whatever you can go localize city and country names and if you untick that if we go back to the world map we can see here that we've got um, I don't can't even read that so yeah it's a nice little touch that so yeah I'm glad that they added that let's go to gameplay before you had to get a mod for it um, what the heck okay uh, so yeah we can put that on which is a lot easier and a lot more um, a lot simpler for me to be honest because obviously I don't know, um, I can't read Cyrillic very well um, and I'm sure plenty of other people can't read Cyrillic very well. Very quickly I want to show you something, oh no we can't, I've not got the console installed. Oh my god what a dev, I forgot to install the console. Because I restored my Windows PC, or restored my PC, I forgot to put the config file in it. Oh my god, what an idiot. Okay, I'll do that right now and I'll be back in two seconds. Well, for me it'll be about ten minutes, but yeah, see you in a minute. Okay, so now I should be able to start the console. Oh god, what the heck. Uh, dude, what are you doing? Jeez. Okay, so now I should be able to start the console. Ta-da! I didn't even need to try it out myself. Uh, so what is it again? Is it G underscore set underscore weather to one? Is that rain? Yes, that's rain. Now, what I want you to watch out for is the way that the the rain lands on the windows. I'm not sure if it's going to work out very well, though. I'm going to... Actually, no, no, no. Okay, I've got some weird um, trailer there. I'm not sure why. So, yeah. I want you to watch out for the the way that the the window wipers hit off the the window you see that there how it like lines up into a vertical part and then the other windshield kind of it's kind of hard to spot to start with but we need a lot of rain though that's the thing I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that welcome to real weather 2018 in, in edinburgh okay let's drive down edinburgh a bit oh my god that's loud i may turn that down a bit yeah, I may turn that down a bit. That is a bit loud for my liking. Okay, yeah, but in the UK, so let's drive on this side. <laughs> uh, dude, uh, that was your fault, not mine's. So yeah, let's take a look at the window wipers. You'll see there, watch the line. It's like more realistic. Yeah, you see that? It creates like a line. And you see over on that left side there how it actually creates it and the rain slides down. And it just feels a lot more... It feels a lot more realistic. Just the rain quality hasn't changed a lot though. So that's my only concern. But yeah. But we're not going to worry about that this now. We're going to go on to the main event. Uh, we're going to go to... What was the name of the place I wanted to go to? To start with... Uh, today, 9.85% explored. We've done over 70 episodes on the channel. Just uh, imagine how much that is. Capel. Let's go to Capel Scar. That's where we're starting today. Go to Capel. Hopefully that's going to take me to like Copenhagen or something. Um, right. Let me see. Let me see the map. Thank you. 
Kapelskar. Right, I've not actually been here yet, um, so we'll just rest at the rest station. Uh, well, we'll not rest, because we don't need to sleep. It's 12 a.m., uh, 12 p.m., so it should be fine. Let's go... here. Just now? Uh, okay. So I didn't actually want to do that. Wait a minute. Have I got my own trailer? Is this my own trailer? It is, ain't it? Okay then, we'll just do that then. We'll go to the cargo market and we'll see if we've got anything in Kapelska that we can take. We can take chimney systems, not the right way. Nope. Um, that's a bit long. We can make that into a two-part episode. Uh, that's the one I kind of want. Uh, furniture. A living grand of furniture. Hmm, I'd rather do it by price per distance. That's the best they can do. 341 Ks. Are you kidding me? 207 ferry to 341 land. Okay. If that's the best we can get, we'll go for it. Uh, 35 kilometers to the drop off. Um, yeah, let's drive down there because then at least then we're getting more of a. Um, yeah, at least then we're getting more of a actual. Like a view of the, the map and we're not teleporting everywhere. If you don't know how to teleport in ETS2, go to the most popular part on my channel. I'll keep the rain on until it stops. Um, just just to let you see the how the rain reacts on the windshield a little bit. Because it's, it's quite cool. It's quite cool. Uh, a random event there which was added in 131, I think. Yeah, I think 131 added the random events. I think 132 added the trailer on the ship, which we've got on the back right now. And 133 added compatibility. I don't know why I'm going this way. Why did the sat-nav just route me down this way? I have no idea. I've just been sat-navved. It's not very often I'm sat-navved in this game, to be honest. Because it's a computer program, which is a lot more, um... I would say reliable, but it's not. <laughs> oh my god, my wheel feels a lot more... Turney, if that makes sense. It shifts to the right too much. Look at that. It just... My wheel doesn't feel right. Like, it feels like it's turning more than my wheel. It's awfully strange to say, but... It's like the new update brought in some wheel um, features, like, to do with steering wheels and controllers and stuff. Oh my god, that, that actually turns very fast. Is there something in my control settings that's actually doing that? Because that's just insane. Or is that actually the game now? There we go. So there's the joy wheel. Do that. Oh my god! Are you serious, game? So you don't reset my wheel? Wow. Oh my god. Pay f pay £150 for a wheel and don't get good money out of it. Get it makes you go the wrong way. <laughs> nice. You know what? I was right at the delivery point. What am I doing? What a buffoon. Wow. I just lost about... Well, I've got so much truck damage now. That was my own fault. But okay then. But it wasn't really my own fault. It was the game's fault. It's supposed to reset your wheel after it. At least none of the cargo's getting any damage because we've not actually picked up the cargo yet, which is fair enough. We're not actually bothered about uh, worried about what trailer we're doing today. Uh, I would like a little bit of money though. <laughs> yeah, you see that how it actually builds up on the window. It's really nice that I really like it. Yeah, let's go 60 mile per hour and a 30. I won't be the first person, I won't be the last person to do that. Wow, that wheel feels so sensitive. I don't know what it is now, it just feels more sensitive. Freight? No, not freight. Cargo. I'm so used to clicking the cargo market. Two, just almost two years of Euro Truck and you just... It adds in a new thing and you have to get used to it and it's just not easy. Right, so we are going to pick up a some sort of thing. Uh, okay, I probably should have reversed then. Wow, 
Wow, that wheel feels weird, honestly. I keep saying that, but honestly, it feels so sensitive when you turn it. Like, it doesn't look right. Why change this SCS? I mean, like, seriously, we've had this for, like, six years, normal, and you change it and make it worse. Thanks. Just the way the trailer, the truck acts with the trailer as well, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right to me at all. Okay. If you haven't seen this yet, basically what you do is you turn off the engine. Uh, you don't detach because that's just dumb. And you press, what is it, A. Like I've done about a million times. That button. So then you don't actually get to see it loaded, which I think you should um, in 134. Next update ideas, guys. Um, but yeah. So yeah, the pricing of the DLC is... Let's let's reroute, actually. Yeah, let's reroute. The pricing of the DLC is it's £13.49 on Steam, or €17, Euros or $18, I believe. So yeah, it's... Quite a good quality for the amount of money that you pay. Um, I mean, think about the amount of hours you're going to have in it. Right, we're going past Nantale. Then we're going to miss out Turku, I think. Um, because we've kind of been there already. Uh, we're going to go down to Cappuccino. And we're going to re route around there. Um, Coavla. Coavla. I will go that way. And we'll end. So yeah, 545 kilometre journey, about 150 of that is a ferry, so it's about a 350 kilometre journey, so yeah. Prepare for a normal sized journey. Anything over 400 is quite long, anything under 200 is quite short. And between is just perfect. So between 200 and 400 is the ideal job length. Uh, somehow I thought that was a gate and I don't know why. difficult getting out of here. I see they've added new gates for the, well, they've actually went with the Pro Mod Steam on it. Okay, let's make that the only crash today. And we're not going to worry about anything, apart from the crash, obviously. But we're, we're going to, we're going to worry about the journey o only, and we're not going to be put off by that. This routing is somewhat weird. I don't know why it wants me to go out and then back in again. That's what it wants me to do, right? It wants me to go out and back in again. Wait a second. It's taking me... Wow, it's actually trying to loop me around there so I can go... Oh my god, this is weird. This is a probably weird sat-nav. I won't be investing in this sat nav again. Tell you that for a fact. Let's go on number three. Polaris lines. Uh, I think we are going down here. See the way that the truck tilts now? That's awfully strange as well. Let's put on fuel, not fuel. Uh, what the heck was that bump? Yeah, so the truck physics are really changed. <laughs> Joy button zero. Uh, we are going to Nantale. Embark. Woof, woof. 1,024. That's um about 10% of our job money going out. Wow. Furniture. ETA is Saturday at 25 to 11. Oh, God. I hope we can get a sleep in this because I really want to sleep um, through the night so we can see all the scenery we can. It's probably going to be a late afternoon. Yeah, it's going to be... we we'll get a rest in this. Oh, God. What's our ETA? Five hours. Yeah, I think we can. If it doesn't sleep for like 10 hours, we can. 
or 12 hours, whatever. We can turn the wipers off now because it's not raining. Hey, Finland! We're in Finland, guys! South Finland! Hey! Uh, let's go this way. That turning is crazy. But yeah, I suppose even if we didn't sleep anyway, I suppose uh, the sun would be quite high. Uh, the sun would be quite um, high up at this time. So, hmm. yeah. What time is it now? Oh wow, it is half past um, ten. Yeah, I want to sleep. I want to sleep and make it about eight a.m. Uh, it's it's really annoying because you can't set an alarm in this game. You can't actually tell like when you're going to get up and stuff. Which is slightly annoying. It'd be a kind of nice thing to have. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. So nice. Take a vote with that. It's great. Helsinki and Turku. Oh god. Helsinki, Turku. Did they redo Helsinki in this? I'm pretty certain they did. I think they redone the whole road system and stuff in the whole city. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get up there um, this month. Or next month, for that matter, because it's almost December. Tomorrow's December, oh my god! I can't believe tomorrow's December, that's crazy. The last month of the year is tomorrow. And yes, Finland do their traffic lights in a, way, a very strange way. They do it side to side, which is awfully strange. Oh, nice. What a troll. Traffic lights, you're a troll. Oh my god, now you changed to red. No timings on these lights. But yeah, so far, from what I've seen on like videos and stuff, the, this DLC is quite good. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to driving off at, at off camera as well. Oh, come on. Can you stop doing that? I really wish there was an option to say, don't make tr st truck randomly stop on damage, because that's really irritating. Right, can we make it to these lights? I don't know how long these lights would stay. Hopefully, longer than 10 seconds. Give way, pal. Thank you. The frame rate in this place is absolutely insane. The frame rate is ridiculously low. It's probably about 30 FPS right now. It's definitely struggling. Probably because we're in a city. Or, well, near a city. Or a town. One of the two. So yeah, this is the largest DLC as well, so this is the biggest DLC, it's got the most land area of any DLC ever released by SCS Software of your truck, apart from obviously the base game, which was obviously um, quite big. Um, you can actually buy the, the base game for the same price as pretty much all the DLCs, which is crazy. So yeah, there's now four map DLCs out, is it four or five? No, there's five map DLCs out. There's... Um, Going east, uh, there's Scandinavia, there's Viva La France, there's Italia, and there's now Beyond the Baltic DLC. What I really want now is a um, Spanish and Portuguese DLC, so that's the next one I really want them to work on. Yes, ProMods is doing Spain and Portugal, oh well, Spain, um, North Spain, and working down towards um, Central Spain, all that stuff, but um, I thought I couldn't go this way there. Uh, but... Uh, I would like SCS to make a go of it, just like they did with ProMods uh, overriding the Baltic DLC. I wonder what ProMods is going to do with their um, Baltic stuff then. I tell you what, the Beyond the Baltic DLC kind of references this year Baltic DLC. <laughs> I mean, 
It's not going to be long before we add the Frosty mod into Euro Truck as well. Uh, when we're done with a few episodes on the uh, Baltic DLC, just showing some of the uh, scenery off, um, I mean, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and do some Christmas stuff in, uh, in Euro Truck because in a few weeks' time, it's really going to be kicking off Christmas stuff on the channel. Um, tomorrow, we've got a few music stuff coming up. We've got a music series uh well, not a music series, just a music video um, called The UK Christmas Number 1's 1973 to 2017. I tell you what, if you really like Christmas songs, then this video is going to be really enjoyable. Um, there's also going to be an A to Z of Christmas, um, which is going to pick out, like, A is for um, All I Want for Christmas is You, or anything like that. A to Z of Christmas songs sort of thing. B is for uh, Blue Christmas, that sort of thing. C is for... Uh, Christmas time, that sort of thing. All this, and then just make a song, just make songs out of it. Obviously, I'm not going to sing the song to myself. That would just be weird. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, let's play We Sing, or what's the other one? Karaoke Party. I don't think I'll be playing Karaoke Party at any point. I would like to. If I was a good singer, I would like to play it. But, you know... Maybe what we'll do um, uh, during December is what we'll do is uh, actually there's a fun and games day. If you haven't seen the schedule yet, which I posted in the announcements uh, server on this or the announcements channel on Discord, um, link is in the description if you're not joined yet. Um, and also, uh, what's the other one? Yeah, it's on the YouTube uh, banner as well, so you can just basically go to my main channel and look at the banner on YouTube, and you'll see it. Yeah, I would like to sleep though, but I kind of feel like going through Finland at night is kind of fun. Like, I mean, this is actually not too dark. It's a lot more brighter than I thought. Because the sun's actually, like, come on, like, seriously, like, like, half past 11, oh my god, half past 11 at night. The UK very rarely sees that at half past 11. Like, I don't doubt the UK ever sees that at half past 11. I do know that Finland and Norway and all that, um, basically in the Arctic Circle up north, uh, basically they basically get 24 hours dark um, in the winter. So right now in December they're probably getting 24 hours of darkness, and then in, in summer they're probably getting 20. Well, they are getting 24 hours of light. So yeah, it's quite kind of. Imagine living 24 hours hours of darkness for about two months, and then 24 hours of light. Getting to sleep won't be too easy. You'll need like black curtains. And then 24 hours of dark, I mean, that's going to be awkward, ain't it? Like, darkness for 24 hours. If I had the choice, you know, I would probably go for 24 hours of light, obviously. Like, nobody would, I don't know very many people that would pick um, 24 hours of darkness. But yeah, it's a conversation that um, probably, sh or it's a topic that I should talk about because we are in Finland. Very nice part of the world, though, look at this. It's sun, it's, it's, got, it's, it's weird, it's like it's not dark yet, but it's light still. It's just perfect. Tampere, we're going to Cappuccino to the right. Okay, the frame rate seems to improve. It's probably more up to 60 now. Obviously, you guys only see 30 FPS because I only upload the videos in 30 FPS. I could upscale it to 60, but there's no point because you just see pixelation all over the place, which I would need to record in 1080 at 60, and then the frame rate would go down because obviously the CPU is getting used on my OBS and not on. Oh, hello. I thought that was a dead body there. <laughs> I'm not joking. I thought that was a dead body. But it was just um, garbage. Wow. So yeah, if you like music, then stick around for the um, Christmas number one video tomorrow. List all the number ones from 1973 to 2017. I would put the 2018 one in yet, but it's not um, revealed yet. It's only in three weeks today that it gets revealed. And then there'll be a video three weeks tomorrow um, with the official Christmas top 40. And then there'll be a video the week later. And then that'll be the last video from music on this channel. And it'll be 
And all the music videos will be moving to Simfan Music, which is a new channel which will launch in January 2019. Which should be good. Try, I'm going to keep the gaming stuff separate to the um, music stuff. That's what I'm kind of planning to do, which is probably a good idea, to be honest. Considering Article 13 is uh, basically now hit, it's really, really going to kick in in January, I think. My final decision is going to be made to Article 13 in January. If you haven't seen my video yet with the giveaway, obviously it's the £20 giveaway and the end of my channel video. Um, I done it about two weeks ago or something, and I basically went on a full rant about how stupid Article 13 is and how, uh, basically, how YouTube shouldn't go with it and all this and my net pros and cons about all the stuff that's to do with Article 13. Oh, it's just, it was really, 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 really annoying video to make. I didn't want to make it, but I had to. It was just meant to be a normal video. Talk about the giveaway. Eh, eh. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, the guy that uh, that won the giveaway did not, and I repeat, did not claim his uh, claim his card, which is absolutely insane. The guy entered, but he didn't claim it. The guy was the first one to enter. Gamer Amine is his name. Gamer Amine Twelve, I think his name is. Um, if he comments his uh, email and then uh, today, for example, he won't get it because I said that you have 48 hours to claim it and he did not do that within 48 hours so unfortunately he it's you, everybody else's gain and not his because he will be well most likely he won't re enter again but, but I don't know that, that for, for sure can you imagine that if I, if I, re, if I do the, if I redo the giveaway and the guy um, enters again it's like what dude come on <laughs> Can you imagine that? That's going to be crazy. It's so quiet here. What the hell, man? There is, like, no vehicles on the road at all. I'll tell you what, though. This scenery looks absolutely marvellous. Look at that. Oh, my God. That looks fantastic. I'm a sucker for scenery. Honestly, I am. If that's even a thing. You know what? I'm not going to sleep. I'm just going to continue. I'm enjoying this too much. It's nice and relaxing. How far have we got to go? 113 kilometers. Wow. We're coming up to Cappuccino anyway. Oh yeah, so, speaking of Latte, because we're coming into Latte, or Cappuccino as I like to call it, um, what is everybody's favourite coffee? Um, or favourite coffee stuff? So, for example, you walk into Costa, you see the menu, what do you order? Uh, what, what do you order to start with? For me, it's definitely a flat white, by far, flat white. And I'll tell you why I order a flat white. Lattes are too light. Lattes are far too light. It's like drinking milk to me. Um, I feel like a baby when I'm drinking it half the time. Um, and it just doesn't give me that my daily dose that I need. Um, but flat white sort of does because it's like a stronger latte. Uh, it's just like 80% milk and 20% coffee for a, a latte. And I think it's more like 40% coffee and 60% milk for a flat white. And then it's blended in to make it smoother. To taste more like a latte. Uh oh. Flashing yellow, that basically means take care. Or at night time, it'll basically mean um, watch where you're going. Oh, hello. Oh, look, I'm breaking the speed limit. Oh, no. By one mile per hour. Yay. <laughs> Better call the police for that. Or as the Scots like to say, the police. Even though that's more of an English word than police anyway, but okay then. Nice little town, though. Very quiet town, this. Probably because it's just, like, half past twelve at midnight. Or half past two, sorry. Half past two. Wow, look at how light it is at half past two. Oh, hey. Oh, God. Let's go on the cape pavement. Yeah, let's... Good, good idea. 
Uh, I need to be in that lane, pal. Move your big SUV or Jeep or whatever you call it out of the way. Oh, engine malfunction. Yay. Oh, yeah, we're heading around for this discoverable, and I think we're at our drop-off. No, we're not. We need to still go down to Kovala Bear. Oh, there's a Renault. Hey, drive into him then, you stupid Jeep. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Jeeps are made by Renault. No, they're not. What am I talking about? A Renault Jeep. Uh, just keep going, thank you. I hope that they've improved the AI again. Because they seem to have made it worse than 132. I hope 133 sort of improved it a little bit. I do love the truck though, it matches the Crone trailer very well. Does anybody remember when the Crone trailers launched? It was back in... I can't remember. I think it was back in summer when they launched. Um, and I remember I did a few videos on it. And I think there was like a some sort of racing components event. Oh, hello. Rocket League Community Spotlight. Okay. Um, I remember there was like some sort of a community event or something for um, racing components. And you had to deliver it to like 12 different cities or something. And then I did the last like six off camera. Uh oh. Sorry, I thought that was my lane. <laughs> Why have they got two lanes and I've got one? Makes no sense. You wait there, pal. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh yeah, if you haven't watched yesterday's Cook Serve Delicious, go and watch it, because it's absolutely hilarious. It was such a fun episode to make. The, reading the emails at the end, though, oh my god, I laughed so much on the last part. Um, okay, thanks for not getting the Discoverable. Um, so you actually have to drive down that small piece of road to get the Discoverable. What the hell, man? The whole reason I came down here was to get the Discoverable. I find out it's not there. Well, I find out I can't go down it. Well, I can't get it from driving down the normal piece of road. That's dumb. It should just trigger it as you drive down. Because I can see it. Well, I didn't see what the, the dealer was, but or the recruitment agency. God, the tilt on the trailers now are just crazy. So yeah, flat whites are the thing I get. Um, espresso's okay. If, if I'm like really, really, really tired, I'll just take like two espresso shots and one. Obviously, I'm not going to buy it from um, Ripsign. Obviously, I'm not going to buy it from Costa or anything. And don't go to Starbucks, please, because it's just awful. Starbucks basically have no coffee or caffeine in their um, coffees at all. I hate Costa. I, I hate um, Starbucks, sorry. So yeah, Costa's the best way to go. For a quick coffee anyway. Hello. Twitter! Nice. Does anybody get these recommended YouTube videos, by the way? Like, you'll basically, like, get, like, a random recommended notification for, like, a, a YouTube video. Whether it be, like, a, a new music video that's released, for example. Um, or, like, the John Lewis advert. I had about two recommendations on that once. Had a notification in the morning. Recommended John Lewis ad 2018. Oh, yeah, in the evening, we're going to send you a second notification saying... John Lewis ad 2018. It's like, okay then, I get the idea. I've watched the advert. I get it. <laughs> I don't know how I actually feel about that advert, actually. It's not... I know people are saying it's not Christmassy, but people are not understanding the underlying message. 
they look at it and think, does this look like Christmas? No, it doesn't. Let's type in, this doesn't look like Christmas, blah, 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 in their views. And it's like, okay then, fair enough. But do you understand the underlying message in it? No, you don't. Because you just look at it and you don't think about it. This is what people do. They don't think about stuff. They just watch stuff, but they don't think about the background on it or what the story actually entails. Just like the John Lewis advert. Like, 80% of the public are like, um, this does not feel like Christmas. This is... This is not like the old John Lewis adverts. Well, no. If we made it like the old John Lewis adverts, you're going to moan like Sainsbury's did this year and copied John Lewis. So if they did something like they did last year, they're going to get basically moaned at for copying them. So it's kind of stupid, to be honest. So you can't win. John Lewis can't win. Nobody can win with the British public. They're so critical. Quavla Bear. That's what I'm calling this city. We deliver the future. Oh god, stop engine malfunctioning, please. Apparently I was breaking the speed limit there, even though the speed limit was eight, uh, 80 and I was going 79, because that makes sense, right? I think the sun's trying to come up. It looks like the sun's been in the same place this whole journey. Oh, I really hope it's not going to come up on that side and set on that side. What a journey it's been, though. Fantastic. A nice little first look into the Beyond the Baltic DLC. I tell you what, I bet this place gets very Baltic in winter. Like right now over in uh, Estonia and Lithuania and all that, I, I bet it's quite quite cold. In Scotland right now it's quite cold, um, it's currently it's about 5 Celsius outside, something like that. So it's been quite cold. If it's not if it's not cold, it's raining. That's basically that. Generally, between November and March in Scotland, how it works is it basically is either wet and mild, or it's cold and dry. That's generally how it works. And then very rarely you'll get the cold and wet, which leads to snow, which is apparently what we're getting next week. Tuesdays to be quite cold. Be nice to get some snow though, cause not seen snow um, since I've not seen snow since April, when I was in Greenland. That was a lot. <laughs> oh my god, that's a sharp bend. Well, it's a ninety degree bend. It's the same thing. Okay, we've arrived in Quavla Bear. We've discovered Quavla Bear. I think we've got a discoverable bird down there, but is the game going to do the same as it did last time and just create like a tiny road and troll me again? I am really annoyed at that about the wheel um, turning though. Like, if I turn my wheel, uh, you know what? I'll point this down. I don't know if you can see that very well. Like, look at my wheel, and then look at how I'm turning it on the screen. How it's turning on the screen compared to the um, the game. Okay, maybe not do it just now. Because we're not at a bend yet. I'm probably going to fail massively at getting the... What? Okay. Scumbag. It went up to 70 about two seconds later. Oh my god. And I was on 60 anyway. Oh, nice. Right, watch how I turn. You can look that way. Uh, nothing coming that way. Right, watch how the wheel turns. Look at that. That's so wrong, ain't it? That's like a full degree turn. That's like a full 180 degree turn. Look at how different that is. That's crazy. It's insane. I don't know if that's actually back on my face yet, or <laughs> it's like below my face, but we'll go with it. 
I can't say the preview because the preview does create a little bit of CPU usage and I'd rather have as much as I can. But Christmas is only 25 days away and it's basically time for the big Christmas shop, which, yay, go me. I can't wait for that. Not. Oh my god, it is this tiny road again, ain't it? Oh my god, are you serious? What is it? I think it's a recruitment agency anyway. Um, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Uh oh. No! Okay. You know what? What does... I wonder what happens when the train comes. I really hope it doesn't run me over. You know what? Let's create a save. Create a save of this. And what we'll do is we'll see uh, before train. <laughs> and we'll see what happens when. I don't even think it's going to come, is it? I don't even think the train's active. Or is it? I don't know. I could be sitting here for hours. Uh oh. I think I can hear it. Oh, no, no, no. I can hear it. Oh, God. Is the train going to stop? Yeah, it's going to stop. Uh oh. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I thought that was actually going to run me, push me up to the sky. That would be so funny, by the way, if it done that. Okay, let's park this thing up, and we'll get our money. And we'll look at what we've done today, because we've done quite a small amount of the DLC. There's a lot in the DLC for £13. It's probably twice the size of Italia, this DLC. I guess, and probably about just about just over the size of France. Fantastico. Oh, look, the gate's open. He knew I was coming. Let's see if we can get it right first time. Oh my god, I almost had it. I always go over it. Okay, if that's how you want it, take it. Joy button 2. Uh, no, wrong one. I meant that one. <laughs> Joy button 0. Yay, full money! Because it was our own trailer that got damaged, uh, we only basically, we basically got full money for it, so that's good. That's one of the benefits of having um, your own trailer as well, and delivering cargo. So let's have a look at the world map, and see how much of Finland we've done. See, so yeah, we've went from 9.75 to 10.26. And we've missed two discoverables as well. So yeah, we've went from Kapilska down to Turku, down to Cappuccino, and then down to Coavla Bear. Um, so yeah, actually, you know what? We've done quite a large ma majority of Finland, probably about 25% maybe. So yeah, next episode, what I want to do is maybe try and get down to Helsinki if possible and up to Pori. And then maybe head down to St. Petersburg as well. So yeah, seems like there's quite a few bridges here. So yeah. But yeah, um, let's have a look at our driver, because we've not have a look look at them yet for a while. Uh, Malcolm Y in Edinburgh, with his MENTGX, uh, let's show his log, uh, he's made two grand, okay then, wh where's his 30th, 30th, 1st and 32nd journey, what happened to that? What is it, uh, sorry, what was he doing on day 30 to 32, was he on holiday or something? £808 a day. Wow, I'm paying this guy, like, £3 per kilometre. Oh, no, he's making £3 per kilometre. And I think I'm making him... I'm pay, paying him, like, something like 370 47 per delivery, yeah. Which is crazy. But, yeah, it's still worth it to get him. Obviously, I put him in my old truck, to be honest. Uh, okay. But, yeah, that's going to do it for another episode of Eurotruck from Finland. And we'll see you on Sunday for Fallout 76. I should have mentioned that in this video, actually. Fallout 76 starts on Sunday, so don't miss that. 
um, as we'll play that over December and maybe further. Don't know. But yeah, that's going to do it for another episode. If you enjoyed the video, please like the button. If you haven't kept up with all the videos on my channel, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. See you later.